This is Zach over at the Edge Pro and we're coming to you today with some product unboxing of the brand new Oster cordless line of clippers. Um, as you can see in front of me, we've got the Oster cordless finisher, the T finisher, we've got a cordless 76 and a cordless turbo A5. Unfortunately, I don't have the cordless fast feed options to show you today. Um, we'll hit you with another video when we get those in stock. But today we're going to go through these clippers, talk about some of the, the features that are going to come with these tools. Um, for a lot of people, we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to set these aside and we're going to start with our barber, the barber side, which has our uh, cordless T finisher and our cordless 76. So we're going to go ahead and unbox our T finisher first and see what all we've got in the box here. So first we have the clipper itself. Um, you've got the classic uh, T-finisher look with the burgundy uh, housing here um, for all those classic Oster fans out there. Um, overall the product has a nice weight. Um, you'll see on the back side that they've added some texture to the housing to help the grip, things like that. Uh, noise wise it's pretty similar to all the other tools on the market. So it's not loud or anything like that. It seems to run smooth right out of the box. So you've got your tool there first. Let's see what else we've got in our box. Obviously in this here we've got our instruction booklet. We'll leave that in there just for the sake of space on our counter. Uh, opening up the box here you're going to find you've got a baggie. You've got a couple of attachment combs and your blade oil. Um, your charging cord and of course your charging base. It is a nice feature that this tool has right out of the box coming with the base. Um, some of the other brands now, you, uh, it's not an option uh, or you'll have to buy one after the fact. So having it all in one, that's really nice. Um, so again, pretty standard on your additional accessories. Um, and then that added benefit of having the charging base out of the box. This tool itself has a 180 minute runtime, so that's three hours. Um, that's going to run you a little bit longer than your like cordless detailer um, or your slimline uh, cordless outliner stuff like that. Um, so a pretty good long run time on that. As well just like it's pretty standard today lithium ion battery technology so in and out of that base all day long and shouldn't cause you any problems on that front. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to get out now our cordless 76 as well and we'll see what we got in there. So again Right on top here we got our instruction manual. Make sure you read that when you get your new tool out to learn about the battery, the maintenance, and whatnot on your tool. And again, here we go, the classic 76 look and feel with that textured housing. Um, difference here obviously than your corded unit, you're going to have your switch on the front compared to on the bottom uh, with your cord and whatnot. Uh, it has a, a blade protector on there for out of the box, we'll put that in there for now. Um, overall feel, it's got a got a pretty distinct feel. Uh, for those of you that are used to the corded version, this is going to feel very similar. Um, a little bit more ergonomic than the traditional round housing, um, but still trying, staying in tune with that more classic 76 look. Um, again, uh, pretty nice unit. Um, added benefit here, uh, like not all clippers, but this one does have a detachable battery. Get a new one, pop it in. You want to have two batteries, three batteries, four, doesn't matter. Just take one out, pop it in. Uh, so there's your cordless 76. And we'll see what else what else we got in the box here. So again, so really nice out of the box. Uh, you do have a charging base, your charging cord, as well as um, looks like you've got your, your bottle of oil here to, to keep your blade maintenance up right out of the box. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put some of this back in our box here just so it's, it's not out on our table. Alright, so when we're actually looking at this unit here, it does have an hour and 20 minute run time, so it's going to be right up there with your other barber cordless tools. Um, obviously this is the detachable blade version. 
Uh, so all your different blade sizes there again are just going to be a quick detach and put out whatever size you want on. Um, you can hear there the noise level. It's actually a little bit quieter than your corded unit right out of the box. Again, that's just going to be maintenance. Um, so two really nice looking tools, um, some good features, good battery life. Um, and ultimately priced very similar to the other stuff on the market. So if you're a classic, classic Oster user that's been waiting for the cordless tools to come out, these are the ones for you. They're, they're great tools, they're looking good so far. We'll be excited to see what the reviews look like and the quality as time goes on, but out of the box seem to be very nice tools. So we got those there for you. And now we're gonna take out our animal version, which are gonna come in the classic Oster Blue like the turbo uh, line that they have already in the corded. Um, taking these out of the box here, here's your tool. Just like the barber version, you've got the textured housing, um, on off switch on the side there. Uh, noise is pretty comparable, if not below a lot of trimmers, things like that. Um, I won't go into too much detail about what's in the box. It's basically identical as the barber version there, uh, but we'll get the base out so we can take a look at the tool. Just like your barber version on this tool, we're looking at 180 minute run time. Um, you've got your detachable pop-on blades like your regular T-finisher and finisher, which is nice. Um, we do appreciate that about this line, that it's using the standard Oster blades. So you're not going to have to go buy, you know, a special blade to use with this tool. Um, they just they screw on and off just like your normal ones would. Um, so again, this one, very similar to your barber version. Um, the main difference being here, obviously, your barber version is coming there with your T-blade and your finisher here has got your regular straight blade on there. Last one to take out of the box for you here is going to be the cordless Turbo A5. So just like your Turbo A5 that's corded, we've got the classic blue housing here for you. Um, again, similar to that round feeling, textured housing, um, and just like your barber version, detachable batteries, by one, by two, by 10, however many you think you're gonna need to get through your grooms. Um, it's not quite round, it's a little more ergonomic, which is nice compared to some of your traditional tools. And again, you've got a detachable blade there with your blade latch upgrade. Um, this particular tool compared to a lot of them, um, so like you got your KM cordless out there, it's a two speed internal battery. So this brings in a little bit more of that advantage when it comes to a detachable battery. Um, again, lithium ion technology. The downside for this one is a little bit that the runtime is only 80 minutes. So you're just getting over an hour on that. But again, lithium ion technology in and out of the charger all day long on that one. Um, again, I won't, I won't go into too much detail about what's in the box because it's going to be a lot like your 76 charging base cord, um, things like that. Um, but we'll get, the, we'll get the base out so we can put it in there for you. And then we're going to get to talk about some more of the details on these tools. Alrighty, so again, comes with a base out of the package. Uh, on the animal side, I know that's a lot more common, um, but an upgrade to your KM cordless. Get these all set up for you. All right, so here's our line of clippers. Again, we're missing the fast feed, and now we can kind of do some product comparison for you. Um, price range-wise, on your barber side, um, your cordless T-finishers come in there again right around a lot of the other ones on the market. Um, as far as in there with your cordless detailer or your cordless outliner. Uh, your 76 is going to come in below your Anda Super ZR as far as price range, um, but while having still some good similar features, battery life, runtime, things like that. On the animal side, um, we don't have too much in the cordless trimmers that aren't just kind of your AA battery stuff. So to see a lithium ion battery clipper for a trimmer like that, uh, that's really nice as well as the crossblade compatibility with your existing tools. Um, overall, a really good line. Um, 
the cordless turbo a5 here obviously for those people who really love their classic oster tools the maintenance the quality things like that are going to be very similar and the only downside we can see is the runtime on the tool itself but just like we're learning with any cordless tool battery life it's only going to run for so long before you got to put it in the base so having that lithium ion technology being able to put it in and out that's going to be really good for everybody um, especially now um, being able to buy more than one battery because you can just pop it in and out. Price range wise it comes in just above your KM cordless but quite a bit lower than like your Pulse CR2's of today. So a pretty decent entry level compared to you know going and buying that really expensive Andis tool. Um, so for its price range and quality and benefits like that um, it's got a lot of benefits to it. Overall a well thought out line um, some good benefits, cross compatibility, and whatnot. Um, we're excited to have it. We do have it all in stock. When we're making the video, if you're watching this a long time later, probably don't hope that we have them because we're we're assuming they're going to be really popular. Um, again, it seems like a really well thought out line and some great benefits and quality here and what we're seeing. And we'll be excited to see what the reviews and whatnot from you guys is as the life of the tool goes on. Um, that being said, um, that's what we'll have today for you, and we hope this review and unboxing and whatnot was helpful. If you want to see more reviews of products or how-to videos and whatnot, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more like it. Thanks, guys.